Mike from 3Bug Media and today I'm going to show you how to add tracking parameters to URLs for your Facebook ads. There's a lot of confusion online and how to do this. I'm going to show you exactly where to put it in and how to build one. So first thing we're going to do is we have to build a tracking URL parameter for our URL that we're going to use for Facebook ads. I like to use the Google URL builder. You can just go to Google and just type in URL builder. It'll take you to this page. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down. You can see I have my website right here, 3 Bug Media. Campaign source is going to be Facebook. The medium is going to be CPC. Uh, you can name it something else if you like, but CPC, cost per click, uh, is kind of the standard. But as long as you know when you're tracking, because it'll show up in your analytics, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, campaign term, you can leave blank. Campaign content, if you're running numerous uh, variations of ads, you can put the variations in there. It's not required. And in here, campaign name, I'm just going to put May Facebook on there. Now I'm going to generate the URL. And you can see it spits out a tracking parameter for the URL. So the part that we need for Facebook is the part after the question mark in the URL. So it's going to start with the UTM. We're going to copy that and what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Facebook ads. So this is the Facebook. I started putting together a Facebook ad here and this is the actual ad page where we're building the actual Facebook ad. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down, see where it says show advanced options. We're going to click on that and we're going to scroll down and right here it says URL parameters. And that, we're not going to put in the whole URL, we're only going to put that part after the question mark that we had. So we're going to paste that in there right now. And we are going to save the ad. And we are ready to go. So I'm going to show you quick. So now that we have a tracking parameter attached to Facebook, so what we want to do is we want to be able to track that. So if you look here, this is uh, Google Analytics. I'm just going to show you a sample of what it looks like. You can see now when we look at our medium sources, there actually is one right now for Facebook slash CPC. And that is actually the uh, Facebook ads. Uh, the big thing with Google Analytics and Facebook is if you don't use tracking parameters, they'll, all of your Facebook traffic will tend to look like organic traffic. You won't be able to tell the difference. So unless you add these tracking parameters, all your Facebook ads, all your Facebook traffic will look like it's organic traffic. But now that we set these uh, CPC parameters, we now have another field here that says Facebook CPC. We click on that. We can take a look at the metrics here. But we want to see the individual ads that we're running. So we do need to do one more step. We need to go to secondary dimensions, open that up, and click on advertising. And what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to where it says campaign. And now you will be able to see all the Facebook ads that you've run. See, in this case, for this sample, uh, this sample here, we have one campaign that we ran in April and one campaign that we ran in May. But under campaign here, whatever you name it, and we'll go back here to uh, campaign name. So if you name it May Facebook, when you come back here, that's what it'll be called under the campaign here. And now you can look at all of your individual ads and see the breakdown of the metrics on there. Okay, so hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, you can go to 3bugmedia.com, fill out the contact form, and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you very much. Have a good day.